Unlike 25 years ago, it's not as easy to spot a smoker on the street. Many public areas don't allow it, and due to health warnings, it's almost become a taboo. But although the number of smokers has dropped over the years, CDC officials say it hasn't gone down enough, and the rate of decline is slowing. Less people are buying cigarettes, but they also are going to a cheaper brand. Terrence Bird is a cashier who says many times customers who smoke aren't concerned about the negative health aspects. He says since the economy is on a downward slope, smokers care more about price. The money prices, you know, it's getting outrageous. They bargain hunt. That's basically what they are doing, bargain hunt for the cheaper price. He says he doesn't see many young people smoking cigarettes, but the older crowd makes up for those in numbers, and they keep coming, although he says he knows a few who choose to give up the habit. People say they're not only quitting because of the cost, they say the toll that smoking takes on their body just isn't worth it. It's best to start, you know, you save money and better your health too at the same time. I've seen what it did to people, you know. You know, everybody think once they start smoking, it's a cool thing, doing everything, but if you look at people, as they age, you look at how it takes away from their life. Corey Stevens and Michael Romine both gave up smoking. They say although it was easy for them, it's been a struggle for friends and family. The men say they see both old and young smoking the fiery sticks. CDC officials say this is a sign that states need to strengthen their tobacco control efforts, and Stevens agree. He says without the knowledge, kids can easily be overtaken by peer pressure. I grew up in a neighborhood where people did drugs, smoked cigarettes, alcohol. And he says so did he. But once he realized the value of his life, he changed.